Good morning everyone and welcome to a quick update video from Dynamic Martin Systems or DMS uh, representing the Malagasy 1 in 72nd what if military industrial complex and today uh, we are looking at the super extended range JDAM glide bomb or S-E-R-J-D-A-M-G-B for short. Um, this is a presentation in conjunction with uh, Mara uh, making America rich again. It's Captain USA approved. It's for American based or NATO standard aircraft. Uh, Southrop, the other Malagasy uh, contractor, is working on the Russian and Chinese um, improved weapons. Um, this is in conjunction with Stacy's um, because Jane was out. Um, this is a NATO standard weapon uh, available to use with NATO standard data links and of course uh, it's eco-friendly. Um, so in order for weapons to be successful they need to be for a long war, we're not talking of a short NATO standard war, we're talking of a long war which um, seems to be the prevailing pattern, um, cheap, effective and accurate. So a good weapon for a long war is cheap, effective and accurate. Now the problem is that NATO standard weapons tend to be uh, more suitable for short wars or for the opening stages of a war. Um, these are very effective. This is a Storm Shadow or Scalp missile. And this is a uh, Taurus uh, Kep 350D missile. Uh, these are cruise missiles, uh, they're fairly stealthy and of course uh, they've been used in the Russo-Ukrainian war and we all know that they can hit ships in dry docks, however the Taurus has not been used um, because it is deemed too escalatory, so only the Storm Shadow has. But uh, they've been used um, in various other conflicts or could be used in various other conflicts. Um, they are not cheap. So for a long war, firing lots of these will bankrupt you. They are, however, extremely effective and extremely accurate. So let's have a look at the solution. Well, the solution uh, in the past uh, was uh, to take the Mark 84 uh, standard £2,000 bomb uh, or the BLU-109, which is a penetration bomb. They are cheap, they are effective, but they are not accurate. They're only as accurate as the plane that's delivering them, and that is based on whether it's using computer calculated impact points and basically based on the bombing system of the aircraft, um, whether it's using low altitude bombing system, etc. So they're only as accurate as the plane that's delivering them. So the Americans in particular, and it became the NATO standard weapon, took um, the Mark 84 bomb or the BLU-109 penetration bomb and they added uh, fins which steer and a cheap GPS guidance kit, GPS nose there um, and this uh, guides the bomb onto the target quite accurately. It makes the bomb into a guided glide bomb. This is the BLU-109 penetration weapon. It was cheap, it was effective, and it was accurate. However, when we look at what's happening in the Russo-Ukraine war, and we study war so that you don't need to, um, what's happened is, is these glide bombs don't have the range now to operate in peer-to-peer -peer intense war situations versus either the Ukrainian Patriots or the Russian S-400s. Um, so therefore, if you look at what Russia was doing and has been doing and why they've been advancing is because they've been taking their um, FAB series of bombs. FAB is just like the Mark, 8, the Mark in Mark 82, Mark 84. And they've been adding little tails on the back and they've been adding a glide wing kit underneath, which gives them standoff range. It's cheap, it's effective and it's accurate. So what the Malagasy uh, Armed Forces Defence Contractors have done, Dynamic Martin Systems, is they've taken some Hasegawi kits and they've kitbashed them together. So here we have a Mark 84 2,000-pound JDAM with an extended man-in-the-loop electro-optical targeting nose because GPS can be jammed. It's still got the GPS, it's still got the guidance system 
and it has glide wings underneath. Uh, you may spot where they've come from. And this allows it to have a 60 kilometer standoff range so that you can launch it outside the range of enemy air defense systems. Low level, of course, the range is less. So this is a, a very good way of adding a lot of extra range to a very effective and accurate weapon system. Uh, man in the loop, I use gender neutrally. I use it in human, uh, so it covers everyone's gender. Uh, it's still got the GPS and a good standoff range. So here we go. This is the Super Extended Range JDAM Glide Bomb or SER JDAM GB for short. Um, this is cheaper than the Taurus KEP 550D, uh, 350D. Uh, it's cheap and more, it's as effective as those weapons. It's got a good penetrating warhead when used with a BLU 109. Um, and um, the person in the loop or man in the loop system means that jamming uh, can't stop this because as it gets near to the target area, the pilot in the aircraft can use his screen to confirm the lock on. Uh, so it's incredibly accurate. And Dynamic Martin Systems in conjunction with Stacy's uh, presents this as the way forward in NATO standard uh, weapons for aircraft. Um, it is available to order um, and they are doing a bug off or buy one, get one free. So for every S-E-R-J-D-A-M-G-B that you buy, we'll give you another S-E-R-J-D-M gb for free so pretty good there so uh, bog off and finance is available subject to terms and conditions all payments must be made in one in 72 second scale so i hope that this uh, has enlightened you on the way that the malagasy what if armed forces are working and this is a good solution to the problem of weapons getting more and more and more ex expensive it retains the effectiveness it retains the accuracy and it's significantly cheaper. It goes onto the aircraft this way. The glide wings, Russian style, are at the bottom. Um, and you can see that it's got a really good set of wings there. Um, and it's made in conjunction with Hasegawi. Take care. Goodbye.